Harden wanted a foul. Instead, it's five on four here with James attacking. And that is the second turn. Look out, James. Uh, 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 and Beverly in a straight easy, there. Easy there. Inside the restricted circle. All players stay on their respective benches. So no suspensions going forward. But James bowled over Beverly. And the contact happened. Now Patrick Beverly does not back down from many. Been involved in many scrapes over his time in the league. And a, he and James bump as they walk by here. There's and no doubt about it. Respected benches and the officials will now take a peek on video. Now you're, you're right on it. Now just watch as Beverly tries to take the charge here. Now LeBron is going strong to the rim. There he is. He's outside the three-point line as the pass is made off. Now, depending upon who you're for, right now you're going to make a decision that the other guy started it. Okay? Well, we'll see this a few times. LeBron goes down. Watch his left hand. His left hand is on Beverly. He's going to push himself up to get up, and Beverly starts to throw the arm up yeah. there. As soon as Beverly engages, James pushes back. And is one person more at fault in escalating this event than the other guy? It's going to be very hard to separate here. Well, we're talking about a six foot eight guy at 260 over a guy at six foot one, all right? And that you're going to say whether he allowed him to get up, whether Beverly said something as he was coming up, only the, com the guys that are involved understand what yeah. happened there. The combatants in the middle but, of the mix there. But to me, I think that LeBron gets away with an offensive foul. Well, here's the bump I talked about Hubie a moment ago. The first call here is technicals on Beverly and James and a common foul called on Beverly. Now, the fans are watching the video here in the arena on the big screen. They're seeing the same thing that you saw at home, so that's why you heard them react in the back. We had showed it to you about four or five times before. Ice's body. Now just watch it right here. See, he's there. He was there before the elevation. Now you're going to say, well, he's moving so far and so on. Oops. Now. As James' yeah. left arm is on Beverly's chest. Right. And we, we've seen guys do this all the time. Doesn't make it right or not, but guys will use it. They'll you know, push of off the guy and get themselves up there. The question is, who initiated any further contact? And does anything warrant an ejection or anything further at this point? I want to know who that seven-foot guy with the dark shirt was on top of him, on top of the tour. And you're wondering, you got to move, you got to move Mozgov out of there in order to get up. <laughs> so this is going to stay with what they called initially a technicals on both Beverly and James, and a common foul called on Beverly. So the Cavs will take the second turn. Look out, James uh, 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 uh. and Beverly in a straight easy, there, easy there, inside the restricted circle. All players stay on their respective benches, so no suspensions going forward. But James bowled over Beverly. And the contact happened. Now Patrick Beverly does not back down from many. Been involved in many scrapes over his time in the league. And a, he and James bump as they walk by here. There's and no doubt about it. Respected benches and the officials will now take a peek on video. Now you're you're right on it. Now just watch as Beverly tries to take the charge here. Now LeBron is going strong to the rim. There he is. He's outside the three-point line as the pass is made off. Now depending upon who you're for, right now you're going to make a decision that the other guy started it. Okay. Well, we'll see this a few times. LeBron goes down. Watch his left hand. His left hand is. On Beverly, he's going to push himself up to get up, and Beverly starts to throw the arm up yeah. there. As soon as Beverly engages, James pushes back. And is one person more at fault in escalating this event than the other guy? It's going to be very hard to separate here. Well, we're talking about a six foot eight guy at 260 over a guy at six foot one, all right? And that you're going to say whether he 